The 3D printed master spool initiative is gaining traction and that's super exciting, but there is a dark side. So as I mentioned in another video, I got some filament from my friends at Fiberology. This is their ABS Plus. This is their high definition PLA. And when I contacted them, I said, every time people are contacting me lately with filament, I said, yes, but what about the master spool initiative? Are you getting into it? And in response, they sent me some of their easy PLA in a master spool roll. So I had to print a master spool. Now you might notice that this is not an original master spool, but let me give you a little bit of background first. Master Spool was originally created by Richard Horn, a.k.a. Rich Rap. He basically had the idea that we should 3D print our spools instead of throwing them away all the time to make them reusable. And it was a great idea. He defined the exact diameter of the middle, the exact diameter of the outside, got it all set up, and made a couple of prototypes. Then he iterated those prototypes based on the feedback that he got and trying it out, which is what you do when you're designing something. Now, a little while ago, I heard an interview with a company called Slant 3D. Slant 3D makes filament. They will sell you a master spool. In fact, their spool is super clever because it's the same exact piece printed twice. There's not a top and a bottom that you then screw together. And it's got this super clever little interface so that this exact same piece can lock in with itself. I was really impressed. I had to try this out to see how it works. And I can say, yeah, it works. However, the reason why I bring this up is because in that interview, Slant 3D, despite calling this a master spool, despite having the exact same diameter as Richard Horn's master spool, they treated it like they came up with the idea, like they made the master spool all by themselves. Not one word of mention, not one bit of credit was given to Richard and his work on the master spool initiative. They treated it like they came up with the idea all by themselves. Now, this sounds bad, especially when I say it like that, but in a way, it's also good. See, this idea is so good. It's such a great idea that people are treating it like it's their idea, like they came up with it. And chances are they might actually believe that. They've taken this idea into themselves. It's become a part of them, and, and that's great except that it means that Richard isn't quite going to get the credit that he deserves for coming up with it, but still, that's both good and bad. So let's keep in mind that while Slant 3D did come up with, I, I think, an absolutely clever design in putting this together, they didn't come up with the master spool. Let's give credit where credit is due. However, let's try this out. I love Fiberology's rolls. They're, they're absolutely gorgeous, but we're going to crack open their master spool of easy PLA, and we're going to try putting it on the Slant 3D master spool because I was just curious to try it out, but I'm probably going to regret and wish that I had gone with Richard. Still, let's see how this works. Low poly dinos, out of the way for a minute. We are going to be master spooling. Mm. I'm a little bit concerned about the... Ooh, yeah, this is a loose spool, and being a loose spool means that we might get some crossover here. That's really, really, really bad. The, the whole problem with this, the one counter-argument that I've heard to the master spool is that if it's not wound tight and done well, that we're going to get filament crossing over, and those crossovers are going to create knots in the filament, and that is bad. And this stuff whew, is not super tight. I won't be able to tell you about that because I'm just putting it on the spool today. I will have to print it out. Maybe I'll print some low poly dinos in it and see how it turns out. Plus it says easy PLA. How easy can their PLA be? It's interesting that, let me make sure that this is right. Yeah, this spool is a little bit narrower than a regular master spool and that, mm, worries me as well. 
All right, let's get this tightened all the way up. There we go, we're on. And now let's free it from its confines. So Richard Horn spools have little notches for the zip ties to go in and come out nicely. This one does not have those notches. And in fact, it can't because of the way it was designed. They do have holes for your filament though, so that's good. You know, and I wonder about doing something like the, uh, the spools that I have from Furlong that have that little guide on the outside. And if you're wondering about that, I'll put a link in the, in the uh, cards that you can watch. But there we go, this spool's on here. It's really loose. We're maybe starting to see some of the downside of the uh, master spool initiative in that if there's not enough work done by the filament manufacturers to make sure that these spools go really tight, loose spools ooh, could sink a print. Hmm. So I got it on there. I'll give it a shot, and there will be a follow-up with this, hopefully in the future, as to whether or not it worked. I'm hopeful, but we'll see how my first real experience with a master spool went. But until then, we're just going to have to leave it there. I got it on the spool. The uh, slant spool worked. You guys can find that. Or you can just get Richard Horn's spool. I'm sure a lot of you would just rather support him, and I'm okay with that. But yeah, I saw something new, and I had to try it out. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I want to remind you guys that the low poly dyno Kickstarter is getting closer and closer and that people on the mailing list get a special STL with their support of that Kickstarter. So make sure to jump onto that mailing list if you have not already. Big thanks to my Patreon backers. Thank you guys very much. I'm going to have to print some tiles in this new filament. Ha -ha. And as always, I want to thank you. <laughs> All right. So I've been printing with their Easy PLA and it's Pretty good. I did notice some curling on the back side that was away from the fan, and uh, that's kind of normal for PLA. But I do love the finish of this pr these prints. It looks it looks really good. Now, supporter tiles. Thank you very much, Nicholas Reynold and the Miskatonic University podcast for your support. I'm looking forward to putting these up on the tile wall. However, as I was concerned about this spool's looseness is going to be a problem. It wasn't a problem yet, but I can already see that there are loops trying to cross over and create knots and cause a problem. Hopefully it won't, but there's a really good chance that it will. I'm going to try to run through this spool as fast as I can, but it takes a long time to run through a kilogram spool. I'd love to have smaller spools. <laughs> Nevertheless, this brings me to a very important plea. If you know of a company that is doing the master spools and doing them right and have figured out how to make them tight on the coil before they get put into the spool, please share with them this message. And did you know that when you share a link on YouTube, you can share a link that specifically goes to a point in the video so that they can just jump straight to that point and that point is right after this? If you are working at a company that knows how to make master spool coils that are tight and good and work well with the master spool, I implore you, please share your process with the rest of the world and the rest of, of your competitors, quite frankly. I know, I know that this goes against business, but hear me out. I see two possibilities here. Either you don't share and you're the only person in town doing good, solid, tight master spools and the rest of the community is getting these loosey-goosey spools that cause bad prints and they will tell other people the master spool isn't working. These, this just is a bad idea. And there will be a minor minor amount of voices who will say, wait, these guys are doing it right. They're the only ones who are doing it right. And they will be lost, drowned out in a deluge of people saying, don't use the master spool. And there will be no point to you using the master spool because nobody will be buying them. It doesn't matter that you're the only one getting it right because of everybody else getting it wrong. 
nobody will be buying your master spools. Or, or you share your process and you start to see headlines pop up that look like this. Insert your company's name saves the master spool. Big, good, positive press, and your name gets put at the top of the list when people think of the master spool, and they will buy your master spool more than other people. Even though, because you shared it with other people, they're doing it right too, that good press will turn to your benefit in a big way. I'm just saying, those are the two possibilities that I see. Do you want the master spool to succeed? Or do you want to go back to business as usual have a year ago when nobody was doing the master spool and all the time and effort you took to change your tooling and create this process will be wasted? I'm just saying, those are the possibilities I see for you. I hope that we will see good master spools because I hope that we will see somebody step up, kick against business, do what's right for everybody, and end up succeeding because of it. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys again very much for watching. Safety first. See you next time.